Hi guys and welcome to Hack Explorer. In today's episode, we are going to talk about a simple security method that you don't have to be a cybersecurity expert to do it. Today, we are going to talk about Canary tokens, which can be used to track files or any other digital resource and you'll be getting a notification on that. Coming up next on Hack Explorer. So what is a Canary token? So simply said, it's a special unique link that is designed to detect and alert us when someone clicks on it, shares it or interacts with it. Now this link could be embedded in several different types of files. So for example, it could be a unique email address, image or any file type that is mentioned over here or Windows folder or exe. So these are the tokens that we're talking about. So if an attacker or an unauthorized person when he accesses this and he's able to open this file will be getting a notification. So let's think like an attacker. When an attacker comes into a network, he will try to find a lot of sensitive information about the organization or he will try to steal some information. For example, an attacker might be interested on personal documents like email accounts, email contacts or business related data, financial data, especially credit card information. So he's like trying to find the, the documents or like anything related, he will be browsing all the network shares to find this information. So our task is to place our document in a strategic location where attack will go and try to access this. For example, if you place this document in a sensitive location where you have your confidential files, if the files are copied, this token also will be copied. So once attacker opens the document, we'll get getting a notification on that. So the best thing is, if the attacker copies the document and he opens the files from anywhere in the world, you'll get the notification. So, so without wasting time, we'll see how to create this document and how these things work. I'm jumping into google.com and you just have to type canary tokens. Okay, and search. And the first thing is you can go to canarytokens.org. So once you come into canary tokens, you can select several tokens from here. For example, there is a web bug, Microsoft Word document. In this example, we'll create a Microsoft Word document. You remember, you can experiment all of these. All works in the same manner. So let's select Microsoft Word document. Once you select Microsoft Word document, you, can, you have to provide an email address or a webhook URL. To make it simple, I'll provide an email address. So I'm not going to provide my own email address. For these kind of testing purposes, you can uh, go to a site called uh, 10 minute email okay so this is a free site which gives you a disposable email address for 10 minutes this is a great way to register for a site for a temporary purpose but we are going to use this to test our temporary token so this is for 10 minutes remember if you are out of 10 minutes you can always increase the time so I'm going to provide this address you can provide your own address here, what we are going to do is, uh, you have to give a meaningful name. So if somebody accesses this link and you are getting a notification, you must know where it is and what location this document was accessed on. So after specifying the email address, you have to give a description for this token. So remember, this will be helping you. So once this token is triggered, you will get this message. For example, for this one, I'm going to place this token on my laptop. So if somebody opens it, I need to make sure I, this was a document that was placed on my laptop. So I'll say a uh, document okay. in my. So here you, actually you can give a server name or laptop name. I'll just give my laptop. Okay. Just to make sure when this token is triggered, I know where it was opened from. Okay. So you create the token. So here you can get some suggestions, drop the file on a Windows network share, leave the file on a web server, or attach email with a tempting subject line. Okay. Now, if you want to find, if you get some a spammer, and if you want to like, uh, for example, find the find where this spammer is, you could attach this document inside the email attachment and send it back to attacker. If the attacker opens it, you will get the exact location of the attack is. Now let's see how you see this information. I'm going to download my file. I'm going to store this document in my secret documents and give it a juicy name. Uh, something like uh, if an attacker sees this, he will uh, want to open this document. I'll give this one my passwords. Simple. 
not a good practice to share save your password in shared file okay right so we have our email five minutes left i can increase the time i'm going to show you side by side how this is working so don't escape presentation i'm going to look at my secret document over here so this is what i was searching for like if a user comes into a share like this and he sees all of these files and just say he takes a copy or he tries to open the document and get the information this is where the magic happens so now when i open this document okay inside this i won't see any document passwords over here but as soon as i open it you can see i'll get a canary token that was triggered over here okay now if I open this email, you will see a lot of information. Now, in this document, you can see, in this email, you get the canary token was triggered. Now, you can see the time of the trigger, and you can see the unique ID of the canary token. And a document was opened in my laptop in my personal. So, and the important two things are, you get the IP address where it was accessed from, and the user agent. So, this was opened from a Microsoft Office document. Now, if you want to get more information on this document, view its history. You'll all get, get this link. And this is the geographical information that you are getting. Okay. Now, when you go here, actually, so this is how you get the geolocation of where the document was opened. And the best thing is, if you go to the use agent stream, you can get the exact version of what type of uh, machines that you uh, created. And you can use any other service to find this location. So just like this, you can create a lot of uh, canary tokens, for example, uh, a word file or a web document. Now, just to check, okay, if you're curious, like how this works, now, for example, this document, as I told you, you can place it in a lot of places, but when you open it, the first thing that you might suspect is, okay, there should be a macro in the S1 to run it. So let, let's uh, check this, okay. So if you go to a uh, view, you can actually view the macros. So here you can see there is no macros inside this document. So this is a macro fee approach. So it will work on many word processing documents. So if you want to see the implementation data on how this works, you can go to uh, options and there's a line called advanced and select the word thing that says show field codes in software values, click OK and go to the bottom and if you come here you can see the token is actually hidden inside the footer of the document word document uh, so word documents if you if you if you check it's it's actually a web browser it can run and execute uh, it uh, it has html content inside this one so this uh, particular code if you if i when i researched it it's like trying to access an image from this side to load the image on the word document so and at that moment, it actually triggers the camera token. So again, this is macro free, so it will work on almost all locations. No warnings are shown for the users. So that's a good point. So this is how you can create camera tokens. So go to cameratokens.org, create as much as possible camera tokens. Try the QR code also. So for example, if you have a QR code for the same thing, uh, let me let me give uh, email address. Uh, and say my QR code, create my token. So this is a bonus item. So if you paste this canary token on your phone or a sensitive physical device, so if somebody tries to scan this and get some information, you will get the uh, email alert as soon as this tracking code was scanned. So there's no no other service. Just try to scan this one and I'll get the alert if you uh, try to open this. Right, so that was about camera tokens. It is a very interesting area. So research on uh, the area called uh, active defense and this is comes in a thing called cyber deception. It's an active method of tracking hackers and adversaries and also you can use this to save your personal data because there's no server setup or additional technologies that should be implemented. People also call this as an easy version of honeypot. 
So if you want to see uh, how to set up uh, internal server on setting up candidate tokens, uh, please mention it in the comment area. And if you want to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.